I'm Fernando Fernandez for Fern TV, and we're here at the Toronto International Film Festival 2014. And we're going to go to a couple of interviews, so let's get to it. Uh, so, Kyle, can you please tell us uh, why you selected the rural badlands of Alberta? Sure. Well, I'm from uh, Calgary. I, I grew up there and live there now. So, um, it, it's a natural fit. I've always been drawn to it. I made several short films um, before and they were all set in Drumheller. I always get inspired by that landscape. Um, you know, the, the sedimentary hills, the history of that valley actually is, is fascinating. There's so many abandoned coal mines and ghost towns. They have this dinosaur element. It's just a unique place and uh, because of our experience shooting there, we've D develop relationships with businesses, with locals, that just the ease of production and go going there, like we're, we're, we're welcomed with, with, with open arms. It's a fantastic place to shoot. I couldn't, can't imagine shooting anywhere else. So that, <laughs> <laughs> it'd be a sequel. Man. Now tell us uh, what inspired uh, these stories in the valley below. Sure. Well, the genesis came from a short film that I did in 2011 called Not Far From the Abattoir. And it um, was f fairly successful on the, on the festival circuit. And when deciding to make a feature, I naturally was... I came back to this story and I thought, well, I don't want to remake this into a feature. And this is one of many stories like this that could all be set in the small town. So I thought, well, I'll start by writing these characters five years in, in, in the future and, and, and then develop other stories ar around there. Um, so yeah, it just comes out of my fascination for small town life and and why people choose to stay or why people choose to leave right. that kind of thing so yeah the characters evolved naturally from that one story right. outwards now tell us uh, what does it feel like to be selected here at TIFF and of course um, representing Canadian cinema of course yeah well this is a I, I, I think it's a very Canadian movie. It's a very uh, Al Alberta film. Um, so, and as a Canadian filmmaker, having made shorts for so many years, and now with this feature, um, TIFF is kind of the that w is what you shoot for. So right. I'm so excited that right. we actually get to to have our world premiere here because I'm I'm really excited to see how this film is going to resonate with audiences, um, with Canadian audiences specifically at first, and then right. we'll see what happens from there. But yeah, it's. That's top of the mountain for us. So. What's it like working with uh, Kyle Thomas in this film? <clears throat> it was great. It was great. It was he, he wrote such a good script, and I think that when uh, when I was first working on the audition, because I didn't have much time, for some reason, all the decisions that an actor goes through, like where you know what's this character about and all that, those decisions fell into place so quickly, and I think that's a tribute to Kyle's writing. Um, it was direct, it was to the point, it was universal. I mean, this is a slice, four different slices of small town anywhere, really. In this case, it happens to be Alberta, but because uh, it was specific enough, I think it was relatable to a lot of people. I certainly could, I mean, I'm not from Alberta, but I knew these people and I was interested in what they were doing and so that, you know, that inspires you to, to go deeper into yourself and all that kind of thing. And, and um, it was, he laid out a, a great musical score for us. And it was great because he trusted all of us. And I think uh, that was because he probably trusted himself too. Now there's a lot of uh, films here at TIFF uh, where the theme is almost like there's men going through um, crossroads and challenges and uh, uh, decision making, uh, which is sort of 
like your role in the film and a uh, couple of others in the film as well. Um, do you feel now nowadays men are going through a lot of things and uh, a lot of decisions and challenges than ever before? Is does this does this film sort of like co do a social commentary on on men? Well, I think men and women, we've, we've, I think we've always gone through it. I think we're talking about it in a different way. And uh, I think there's an openness to it. Uh, one thing about this character, about Gordon, uh, he isn't able to talk about it. And that's the, the sad, the, the, the tragic element to it, that he, what he's going through, if it's a, almost like an undiagnosed depression in a way and that's the real heartbreaking thing. He, he isn't able to identify it. He isn't able to identify the real stumbling blocks in what is wrong with my marriage. Why can't I talk to my son the way I want to or my daughter? Why I can't relate, you know? And that's the, what we have to do. I mean, we all share struggles, right? Uh, and how do we get through them? You know, uh, you have to be able to identify them, and you have to, you know, being able to to deal with it and be open with it and talk about it. So, I think the struggles themselves uh, uh, have always been around, but how we deal with them is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how does it feel to uh, to be here at TIFF, and um, of course, this uh, film? And what do you want your viewers to take home with them once they watch The Valley Below? Take hope in it. I, I, I want them to see honest artistry without pretension and, and a Canadian story uh, that is universal, you know. Uh, as much as it's about rural Alberta, I'm not from Alberta, but I identified with all these people and I wanted to hear their story. And, um, you know, it's our stories are as compelling or grand as anyone else's, you know? Um, and I'd, I'd like them to give it a try. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time, and uh, we hope to see you again for any uh, upcoming films, and, films, and uh, hope you can talk to us again uh, in the future. I will. My pleasure, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.